So what is the difference between a relapse and a slip? Do you want to take that one first? <laughs> You've had several of both. You know, for me, in my head, um, a relapse is like, it like, you know, I was like, I would consider a relapse when I was like getting high, um, going behind my parents' back, sneaking out of the house, uh, or even uh, at one point I ran away for, you know, like two weeks and was, you know, doing that kind of stuff like the whole, sorry, the whole time. Uh, and that is what I consider a relapse. Um, I think when I came back, I was just afraid that I was going to get in trouble with the law and I wasn't really ready to like take responsibility for my actions. I was just trying to, you know, get out of the hole that I had dug for myself. Um, and a slip is honestly what I would say my last, my last relapse was where, um, uh, you know, I messed up. I wasn't doing what I was being recommended to me uh, by my sponsor, by my counselor. Um, you know, I had gotten to a point um, in a short period of time where I had gotten back privileges because I was doing what, you know, I was like following my commitments. I was emailing, I was checking in and out patients consistently and stuff. And, you know, I got that privilege. I got the phone. Um, I saw an old friend in like a Kroger or something and got his number and you know, went out that night and came back, lied. Um, and then as soon as I lied, you know, I like got honest. Um, and in my opinion, that is what I think, you know, is the difference between a relapse and a slip. Yeah, I think that's pretty well said. Anything either one of you guys would add to that? Okay, yeah, I, I agree with Mark. I would say that a slip is like, I dropped the ball. I like saw that friend, wasn't thinking, didn't use my tools, acted out, was stupid, got high or whatever. But then like they show up and they're like, I did this, I screwed up, but I really wanna be in recovery. You know, I'm ready to work hard, like whatever. There's a lot of opportunity in a slip, especially if they get honest about it. Like there's a big difference between getting honest and getting caught. When they get honest, like that, that shows us something. Like they're giving us something there to work with and it can be as simple as, well, we drop the ball, we pick it back up and we, and we keep running. You know, go get with your sponsor, you know, redo your first step worksheet. Let's look at, you know, tweaking your meeting schedule. Like let's, let's look at where the, like the uh, cracks in the cement were, but you don't necessarily need to go to a higher level of care. With a relapse, that's when like somebody obviously isn't using their tools, but they relapse, so they go back out at their, they relapse multiple times in quick succession, uh, or they're out for a while, or there's like a lack of willingness, then, then that would be more of like a full-blown relapse, relapse being like reverting to old behavior, and that individual will probably need to go back to treatment, go back to some form of higher level of care or residential treatment.